Hello and welcome everyone to this beautiful new park. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has worked so hard to create it. And a special thank you to a very talented local artist who has made this great sculpture here. Ooh. <laughs> And so the time has come for the awaited attraction. With the unveiling of this statue, I declare this park open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> awesome! Do you like it? Yeah, it's very good. But what is it? Huh? <laughs> it's an elephant riding a motorbike, obey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a bird. I was just wondering what kind of bird it is. Is it an eagle? What's that? Well, I mean, it's a big bird with a sharp beak, and it has claws. No! What's that over there? Huh? Hey! 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 Stop! Hey! Stop, hey, stop, stop coming this way! way. No. I don't get it. Why doesn't the driver see us? And why can't we see the driver? Huh. Oh! Huh? No! There is no driver! It's a runaway digger. Uh, it's driving straight towards us. It's headed towards your mom's statue. We've got to stop it. But how? With teamwork, that's how. Come uh, on. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> What's your plan? We'll climb on, get in, and hit the brakes. Uh, uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, uh, I've changed my mind. It's impossible. Uh, how are we going to get up there? We've just got to try. Come on. Obi, climb up. Uh, hey! Uh, that really hurt. I know. Thank you, Obi. Without you, we couldn't have gotten up here. You bet. You're the best ladder I've climbed. Huh? Uh, you're welcome. Come on. Okay, let's try and stop this thing. But how do we even do that? I don't even know how to drive a regular car. This is an emergency, Obaid. Try the brakes. Huh? <laughs> They're not working. Then try huh? them again. <laughs> oh, no. Why are we stopping? The brake's broken. There's no steering wheel. How in the world do we make this thing turn? Maybe press huh? this button. Now we can't see where we're going. Move it back to where it was. Uh -huh. ah! 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 Something! That was close. They saved your statue. But who's going to save them? Give me the police. This is an emergency. Oh, that was a close one. Too close. OK, I won't be able to do this without your help. You each take a lever. Yours turns us right, and yours turns us left. I'll fix the brake. Uh, uh, come on, come on, uh, come on! Uh, uh. Oh, we'll have to steer. Get ready, Solemn. Got it. Let's start now. Uh, uh. Thank you. Mansoor, how's fixing the brakes? I think I fixed... Oh, no! Guys, why are we going faster? Because of this. Huh? Are you telling me that we can't stop this thing now? Looks like we'll have to keep driving around the park until we eventually run out of gas. For now, at least. But we should be fine now that we can steer this thing. Mm. Oh! 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 What did you do that for, Obade? Well, you said steer. I might have said it, but I didn't mean for you to do it. I was just explaining. Look, all I heard was you say steer, so I steered. Uh, hey, guys. Oh, oh! This can't be good. Good job.
staying in the park, obeyed. What did you want me to do? It's not like I had a choice, you know. Look! Huh? Now we have the cops chasing after us! Let's just keep going in a straight line while we work out what to do. <gasps> so what do you have in mind, then? Nano, can you give me the schematics of the digger, please? Will do, Benzor. How do we shut the engine down? These three wires need to be unplugged. How are we going to do that? Well, someone's going to have to go out there and unplug them. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll be the one to go out there and do it. Huh? Well, you shouldn't get out of a moving vehicle. Well, I have to, if we want this to be a non-moving vehicle. Uh, that's true. We're counting on you. Well done, boys. You saved the day. You saved the day. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like these RC diggers. They're easier to drive than the real thing. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Aha. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> One more shoe and you'll have a pair each to wear soon. <laughs> Grandpa, how can there be this much garbage in the harbor? Well, they are trying to raise money to clean it all up. Oh, but they've got a long road ahead. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one! This feels like a big one! <laughs> huh, maybe it's a size 14, Obeyed. Looks like you've got a real monster, Obeyed. Whoa! Oh, oh no! It broke the line. Aw, it's okay. Next time. There's always a next time. Oh, I was about to catch a monster, or so I thought. He was big, all right, but no monster. Did you ever hear of the Beast of Algades? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. When I was a younger man, I used to dive for pearls at Algades. Oh, the work was difficult, all right, but the rewards were worth it. Until... Until... Until the monster came. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark's and had a towering body the size of a whale. I met uh. the beast one day, and I'll never forget those dead black eyes. I think the boys have had enough. We don't want them to actually believe crazy fisherman stories. They're not just fisherman stories. That beast was real. Real, I tell you, as real as you and me, and I can prove it. See for yourself, he bit my boat in half. You mark my words. The beast still guards the treasures of Algatis. Hm. Grandpa, do you think we could go there? I don't see why not. I'm too old to dive now, but you young fellows can. Yay! All right, ready for an adventure? You yeah. bet! Let's sell what we find and use the money for the harbor cleanup. We're here, Whoa. the Algatis Reef. Let's get ready, guys. Here, use these nets to gather the oysters, but just take the big ones. The young ones don't have any pearls, okay? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> through this old pot in the sea. Mm -hmm. Not bad for beginners. I'm sure you'll soon get the hang of it. Let's get back to work. Boys. I did find this crab. <coughs> More like he found huh? you. Whoa! <laughs> guys, hey guys, you won't believe this. There are hundreds, maybe thousands. Come on, I'm sure we'll find a pearl there. Nice work, very nice work, man, sir. Great job. How did you find all that? I had a little help from an octopus. Come on, I'll show you where it is. <gasps> Oh, <laughs> 
all right. It was the size of a full-grown whale. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark. It had dead black eyes. What are you talking about? The, 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 the monster, Grandpa. It's not just a story. It's real. It almost ate turkey. I told you, there's no such thing as sea monsters. Things look bigger underwater. You must have seen something else. Like a moray eel or a... Well, what do you call what's behind you, then? <laughs> <laughs> that? Why, that's just a... A, a sea monster! Ouch! Grandpa, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. But we have to get out of here. And fast, pull up the anchor while I start the engine. Oh no, it's stuck! Salem, Obi, come and help us! <gasps> it's no good. I'm going to have a look. It's a sea monster! It's holding on to the anchor! We can't leave! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Hang on! Try and scare it away. Ooh, you just gave me a great idea. Oh, he finally lost it. Stop, Obey. Not like that. Watch. Huh? Quiet down, boys. Let's see if it did the trick. I guess not. What's this? Oh, my pearl. I forgot all about it. Oh, yes. It's a real beauty, all right. Not much use to us now that we're monster food. <gasps> oh, I think I got it. I know what to do. It's the pearl. Mansoor, the pearl. Let's throw the pearl at the monster. Obeyed. Sure, it's a big pearl, but it's not like it's going to do anything. We're going to need something way bigger than that to do some damage. No, 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 no. Listen, remember what the old fisherman said. The beast guards the treasures of all Gatis. What are you getting at, Obey? I mean, I'm just thinking. Maybe all it wants is its pearl back, you know? I'm out of ideas. Obey could be right. Obey! I think you hit the jackpot! <laughs> The anchor! Quick, help me! It worked! <laughs> the monster let go of the anchor! Okay, then. How about we get out of here? Yeah! <laughs> Your idea was good thinking, Obey. Thank you, thank you. I know. Well, the thing is, I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> Perhaps in the future, I'll listen to old fisherman's tales. And now we have a tale of our own to tell, Grandpa. Oh, look! We still have five oysters and this rusty old pot. Huh? Where did you get that pot? What? You mean that? Incredible. Huh? It doesn't look incredible. No, oh, but it is. It's actually an ancient Persian relic. And by the inscriptions written on its side, I believe this relic must be over a thousand years old. A thousand years old? Nearly as old as me. <laughs> the Persian pot is worth a lot of money, you see. Of course, an important relic like this belongs in the museum. We'll take it there, and you can collect your rewards. How does that sound to you? Huh? Did you say rewards? Naturally. We can't let young archaeologists like you go unrewarded. You deserve something. Good job, boys. Yeah. Woo <laughs> treasure. Now we can help with the harbor cleanup. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah!
Mansoor, stow the fishing rods, please. Aye, aye, Captain. Turkey, Solemn, coil the rope. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain. Where's Obeyed? We're doing all the work. Wait for me. Huh? Oh, check this out. I just got a great deal on these. They're peanuts. They were buy one, get one free, so I got two. Uh, uh, uh. Obeyed. You do know we're going on a fishing trip, don't you? What are we supposed to do with all these peanuts? Oh, you never know. They might come in handy. <laughs> it's okay, Obeyed. Come on, guys, bring those bags. Starboard side, three degrees. The best fishing grounds are located out there, in the Opal Sea. The Opal Sea? I've never heard of it. The Opal Sea is full of mysteries. They say there's a forgotten island full of enormous beasts. It's a land with giant beings. But that's just a fairy tale, isn't it? Yeah, that's not a real place, right? It's not real? What makes you so sure of that, Solemn? Wait, have you been there, Grandpa? The thing is, I'd rather avoid those giant beasts. <laughs> Solemn is right. It's nothing but an old sailor's tale, but it does have giant fish. It's a fisherman's paradise, so that's where we're headed. Let's go. Let's go get those fish. Hooray! Hooray! Let's get the fish! Watch out, fishies. We're coming to get you. Hmm. Rain clouds. That's strange. It's chilly all of a sudden. Hey, who turned off the light? Put the rods away, boys, until this fog clears. Then we'll continue. I'm going to see if I can move us out of this fog. We don't want to be stuck here. Hmm. Grandpa, hmm? is something wrong? The compass is going crazy. That's weird. This isn't good. It seems the radio's dead, too. <laughs> It's an electrical storm. That can happen in fog. It's just a low-flying cloud. And the lightning is interfering with our electronics. That's right. <laughs> Don't you worry, boys. We'll soon ride it out. The storm shouldn't be long. <laughs> At least we hit a sandy beach. It could have been much worse. That's true. Better than hitting rocks. Now let's go survey the damage. Mm. A bent rudder. We'll have to fix that. Will we be able to? Sure. I have the tools, but it'll take a while. Hey, why don't you boys catch some fish for lunch? In the meantime, I'll get started. Go on. Sounds great. Mansoor, help me with the tools, please. All right, let's have a look. I'm starving. I hope we catch something soon. Got one! Ugh, I need help! Uh, it's a really big one! Look how huge it is! I've never seen a fish that big before! Uh, I can't hold it! Just like in your grandpa's story. What? <gasps> the island of giant creatures. We're on it. Oh, uh, but that's that's just an old sailor's tale, isn't uh, it? Uh, no! Uh, uh. Obeyed was right. We have to hide. Let's go. Uh, grandpa! Uh, grandpa! Look out! Huh? Huh? Oh! oh. <laughs> Get away! Huh? Oh! It's a direct hit. Quick, another one. Push it! We're 
safe now. Phew. Uh, yes! uh. What are they feeding the animals in this place? I don't care. As long as it's not us, I don't care. We have to get down. giant bug was only the appetizer. And it looks like we're the main course. I knew it! <laughs> Hold on. I actually think he's friendly. Mansoor, what are you doing? Come on, it's safe. And look! Yikes! <laughs> you stay away from me! Grandpa! And Sor! I think the big one is the little one's daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> we have to stop him or he'll shake the boat to pieces! <laughs> I've got peanuts! I've heard that monkeys like peanuts! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Down. Mm. Down now. <sighs> Home, please. <laughs> I think it's working, Mentor. <laughs> Hold on, boys. Watch out! Watch out! What is everything on this island want to eat us for lunch? <laughs> 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 We have to help Junior. Quickly, pass me a rod now. Mansoor, we don't have time for fishing. Wait for it, wait. Uh, and now! Huh, we might have not caught any fish, but we did get a giant bird. Uh, come on! Can we please go home now before a giant crab attacks us? Come on, let's go. Well, we won't be going anywhere with this bent rudder. And what's worse, I lost my hammer up on the mountain. Let's try this, Grandfather. I'm, I'm trying! trying. I'm trying. Oh. Oh. It's not strong enough. What now? All right, let's go, boys. Time to go home. One second. <laughs> Obey, get the peanuts. <laughs> Goodbye now! <laughs> Grandpa, look! It's the fog! We have to go back into it to get back home. Buckle up. Grab your fishing rods, boys. We're back to the Opal Sea, where the fish are the right size, and most of all, we're not lunch. <laughs>
looking to make your school soccer team tryouts? Want to improve your skills, become a better player, and ensure your spot on the team? Then we have the solution for you. Smart ball! The only practical way to hone your skills. Who needs a boring old soccer ball anyway, am I right? With Smart Ball, it's like having three balls in one. The amazing new Smart Ball is all you will ever need to quickly upgrade your game. It has special features, such as changing its size and weight to help you develop all the skills you will ever need to use on the soccer field right at your fingertips. And that's not all. It can also shrink to half its size to help develop your dribbling and fine-tune your control. The Smart Ball can also grow bigger and heavier to help develop your shooting power. Smart Ball, the only ball you'll ever need. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. You will never want to play with another ball ever again. Your parents ever teach you any manners, young man? Ouch! Oh. Huh? I heard the competition is really heating up this year. No one's place on the team is huh? guaranteed. Not even on the bench. How long has it been since your last game? I can't remember. What about your last practice? It's been too long. I'm rusty. Me too. How's your stamina? Not good. You know what we need? A smart huh? ball. You said you have a smart ball? Shh. You said you have a smart ball? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. But what's it to you anyway, kid? Well, I tried to buy one at the mall, but they were all sold out. Shh. Uh, keep it on the low. I have what you need. Meet us at the park. OK, OK. You know, it's huh? sold out everywhere. We'll have to charge you extra for the inconvenience. Don't forget it. I heard the competition is really heating up this year. No, it's place on the team is guaranteed. Not even on the bench. Hello! Did you bring Shh. the smart ball? Shh. Quiet! That's so loud! Do you want the whole park to know we have it? Oh, I get it. Did you bring it? What? The smart ball! Shh. You oh. know the thing! That thing, I mean, did you bring the thing? Oh, you want the thing? Yeah. I have the thing. Who are you? I'm obeyed. Obeyed from school? Yeah, that's me. How do I know it's you? Oh, we're in the same class. Oh. Did you bring it then? I did. Hear it. No, uh, don't. Are you insane? Do you know how many kids want to buy this ball? We'll be mobbed. Come this way. Huh? Hey, that's all my allowance. We can cancel the deal if you want. But it's the last smart ball I have. No, no, I do want the smart ball. You won't regret it. But no returns after the sale. There's no refunds. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Wow, thank you so... Uh huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 I just sold another one of those knockoff smart balls to another loser. Which means there will be less competition at the tryouts. We'll make the team for sure now. Right. Who knew there were so many dummies? It's not like a ball will make you play any better. In the meantime, we'll make a fortune off of them. <laughs> 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 And now, with no smart ball or practice time left, I'm never going to make the soccer team. You know, I might be able to help you out. I doubt it. How are you ever going to outdo the smart ball, Mansoor? Easy. I'll just make the smart ball 2.0. Okay, let's see how smart this ball really is. Huh? So cool. Oh. Awesome! Aside from the regular standard features of the Smart Ball, the new Smart Ball 2.0 has a great header practice mode. Hey. Uh. 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 Does your ball do that? <laughs> it also features turbo mode for endurance training. I know it doesn't do that. 
And the Smart Belt 2.0 has penalty mode to train goalkeepers. Whoa. How much did you say you paid for that Smart Ball again? Huh? Oh. What ball did you sell him? I sold him the usual. The same thing that we sold everyone else. Well, I doubt that. That Smart Ball isn't this Smart Ball. Or this one. Okay, I get it. It's obviously different. We need to find out it how. Must be an upgraded model that we got by mistake. And you sold it to him. We need to get it back. <laughs> <laughs> All the regular features of a smart ball are available on this model as well, such as the shrinking, non bouncing mode to improve dribbling skills and the heavier weight setting to help you develop a much stronger shot, becoming a better player and teammate in the process. <laughs> Give it a try now. Uh? Now, the best part of all, for security reasons, the Smart Ball 2.0 has been given a thumbprint ID scanner so that it recognizes its owner and will only take orders from them. By them, you mean... You, Salem, and me. Now let's put this ball to some good use. Is anyone up for a game of five on five? <laughs> this is our big chance. I know you somehow cheated me. I'm going to take this ball back. Watch me. Is that so? Let's see if you can pull this off. Those puny arms of yours, you'll never get it past me. Hmm. I will make it heavier. Programmable thumbprint ID? I knew there was something fishy going on with this smart ball. Well, let's reprogram. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> you failed the tryouts! You're not going to be on this team again! Ever! All right, class is over. That's the end of school for this week, everyone. Obeyed and I are going for a swim now. Have a good time at your grandma's. Oh, no, I won't. See you at the mall tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes, I almost forgot another bit of news, something rather fun. Look, there's my grandpa. Hi there, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Mansoor and Obeyed. What are you up to? We're 
were just looking around. And waiting for Solemn. Oh, that's nice. Guess what? I'm thinking about getting one. A, A bike! bike! A bike. I think it's the coolest thing you could ever buy. Well, I'm not getting it now because I'm so hungry. Mm, then how about you buy us some ice cream? <laughs> All right, then, come on. What would you like, boys? <sighs> I'll have a small strawberry, please, with mango pieces. And I'll have one with chocolate and strawberries and a mango and banana and... Obeyed. Obeyed. What's wrong? You guys are the ones that told me fruits were good for me. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't seem to have my wallet on me for some reason. Uh, I must have left it somewhere. It's okay, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Oh, I've forgotten to bring my money. Obeyed? Um, seems like I don't have any either. I must have spent it all at some point. Uh, I'm sorry, boys, but uh, I have to go and look for my wallet. I'll get you an ice cream another time, once I find it. See you later, uh, Grandpa. But, uh, but, uh, but my ice cream! Come on, Obeyed. Oh. Hi, Shama. Hmm? Hello there, guys. Oh. Hello. What are you two doing? We're waiting for Salem. And not eating ice cream. My grandpa was just about to treat us to an ice cream, but when he went to pay, he couldn't find his wallet. Oh, that's too bad. Well, if you'd seen us a bit earlier, you could have joined us for one. But alas, we've got to go. Well, you're in luck. Here, you can use these ice cream vouchers. Thank, Thank you, Shama. Shama. Next time, it's our treat. Awesome! That was nice of Shama. And now we can finally go get our ice cream. I want some juice, please. I'll have the same thing. Mm. And one of these. Hmm? Mm. Huh? Mansoor! Look who's over there! It's weird seeing our teacher, Mr. Ali, in the mall. Why is that? Because it's strange to think that they're actually real people, you know? <laughs> I mean, they eat and drink and shop just like normal people do. What did you think? That they just lived at the school and never go out? Yes, I did. What the? That was weird. Mm-hmm. We've got to go and return this to him. Come on, hurry. I'll catch up to you. This uh, is important, oh. Obeyed. Come on. <laughs> but ice cream is important, too. <laughs> uh, which way did he go? Did you see? Right there. Mr. Ali. Mr. Ali. <laughs> He left. Why does he keep running away from us? <laughs> huh? This doesn't make sense. It doesn't. That's why we've got to keep trying to reach him. Mm -hmm. Obeyed? We have to find him. Come on.
Huh? Mansoor, he could be anywhere. This is impossible. Hmm, I got it. Maybe we need Nano's help for this. There's a slim chance it'll work, but it's worth a try, I think. <laughs> Hello, Nano. Hello, Mansoor. Do you think you can locate Teacher Ali? I'll try. Here I go. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Teacher Ali located. Well done, Nano. Where is he then? He is right here. Mr. Ali, we've got your. Huh? Uh, huh? <laughs> mm, I just don't understand what's going on. <laughs> oh, look, there's Salem. Hi, Salem. Did you end up having a good time at your grandma's house? No. But what did you two do? Um, well, we saw Mr. Ali. Yeah, who ran away from us. But he dropped his wallet. Yeah, while he ran away from us. So we've been trying to return it to him all this time. Yep, but he keeps running away from us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know why, do you? No. no. Why? why? I'm not going to tell you, but I will help you find him. Ah, uh, mm. okay. You can help. Mm. Which way did he go? Okay, let's go. But this time we hide and move stealthily. No running or shouting, do you hear? Uh-huh. No sign of him. Then we keep moving. Over there! Follow me. And make sure he doesn't see you. Why all the sneaking around? It's very weird. You'll see soon enough. Teacher Ali, Teacher Ali, <gasps> this is a surprise. I spotted you during the weekend. Now may I have my prize, please? Well done, Salam. Salam. And, and yes, yes you, you may have, have your prize. prize. Did he huh? say prize? Thank you. How come you won them? You left class too fast, so you didn't hear Mr. Ali tell us that today was Spot Your Teacher Day. Since I spotted him and said the special words first, I won the prize, which is this voucher. But we spotted you earlier. Perhaps, but you didn't say the special words. But we didn't know what the words were. Tough luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Huh? Where's my wallet? Oh, Mr. Ali, we found your wallet. You dropped it in the restaurant. That's why we were chasing you. Oh, Ben and I didn't know anything about Spot Your Teacher Day or the prize. Yeah, and I didn't even finish my ice cream so we could give it back. Oh, I thought you were just playing the game. But now I understand what you were really doing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful, boys. I mean it. <laughs> well, I think one good turn deserves another. Would you like an ice cream? Oh, yes, yes, please! please. <laughs> <laughs> Three more ice creams, please. If you want to get better, what I would suggest is that you should spend more time practicing football and a little less time studying and writing essays, cousin. Get up and catch! <laughs> uh. Uh. Hey, let's stop the game for a bit. Let's take a break and go get a drink. Good idea. 
Hey guys, why don't you come try a free sample of this new drink, Bingo Pop? Oh! Mm -hmm. It tastes good. By the way, if you're interested to know, we also have a competition right now to find the face of a Bingo uh -huh. Pop. The huh? face of Bingo Pop? What does that mean? What she means is that the winner will represent Bingo Pop through advertisements and posters with their face. Sounds exciting. I would like to win so I can be famous. Uh. I'm going to be the new face for Bingo Pop. Mm -hmm. Or me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What? I would pick you as the winner, Salem. But the Bingo Pop people are probably looking for someone that looks more like Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> It says here that along with submitting the photos of you, you have to write an essay no less than 200 words, stating the reasons as to why you love Bingo Pop. What? No way. You may have the muscles, but I doubt you have the writing talent. I have all the pictures I need to submit, and now I'm going to write the essay that will make me the winner of the competition. I need my beauty sleep, and for that reason, cousin, I will wish you a very good night. Are you waiting to win the competition? Hmm. Oh, my poor, poor turkey. You won't win the competition with this. Turkey, what are you doing? I'm following up on Bingo Pop's competition because they're going to announce the winner today. Salem, did you enter the competition too? Mm, yeah, sort of. Yeah, he entered, but we all know there's only gonna be one winner. Who knows? You might win, Salem. <laughs> we'll see. I got something. Are you sure you sent my form in, Salem? Of course. Guys! <gasps> I got a message from Bingo Pop! Tell us, what does it say? Go outside. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Turkey, you won! <laughs> really? Really, I won? Can you believe it, cousin? I won, I won! Yay. Yay. Congratulations, Turkey! Your wonderful essay has won you a year's supply of Bingo Pop. You'll also be Yay. the star of all Bingo Pop's <laughs> advertising. <Bravo. laughs> huh. It was a very well-written piece. We really enjoyed reading it. Really? Um, uh, I mean, thank you. Are you ready? Uh, uh, okay, let's go. Okay, we are getting the costumes ready right now. Turkey, this is for you. And your friends will wear those there. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look absolutely amazing, Salem. Don't worry, Salem. We all look silly. All of us except for Turkey. Yes, everyone looks great. We're gonna take some photos. Great work. Now we'll begin to shoot the TV advertisement, okay? Everyone ready and action. Hi there, my name is Turkey, and Bingo Pop is so delicious. Cut, that's a wrap. Well done, everyone. Turkey, so are you enjoying this new job? Yeah, I am, but I think I drank way too much Bingo Pop. Attention, Turkey, I have a big surprise for you. Guess what, you're going to be the guest on a live TV show tonight. Come on, let's go. 
Please, everyone, feel free to drink as much Bingo Pop as you want. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Honestly, guys, working in a pair costume can sure make you thirsty. No, 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 thanks. I can't drink any more than I have already. But we need to take a picture of you, Turkey, so we can post it on our social media sites. Excellent. <laughs> Ready for another surprise? Look! Oh. Wow! Look! I'm everywhere! And don't feel bad, Salem. The best actor won. Me! <gasps> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we will welcome the new face of Bingo Pop, whom you'll see everywhere. Give him a big round of applause. Yeah. Hello, everyone. How do you feel now that you have become the most famous boy in the country? Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, it feels amazing, to be honest. You won because of the great descriptive essay you wrote for this competition. And my favorite part is when you wrote, and I quote, beautifully brilliant bursts of fabulous, fantastic tasting fruit tantalizingly tickle my taste buds. Hmm? Oh. And then you end with a great final slogan. Can you share what it is with us? Mm -mm. Um. I think it was, um, uh, uh, this juice is tasty. And when I drink it, it makes me feel like I want to fly. Ah. No, that's not what you wrote. Oh. <laughs> um, maybe it was, maybe it was Bingo Pop. Makes me jump freely like, uh, uh, um, uh, a kangaroo. Ah. Hmm? Huh? No. That's not it either. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I remembered it. Um, 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 Bingo Pop makes me hold my head mm. with embarrassment. No, what you wrote is, Bingo Pop, it's the fruitiest burst of burstiest fruit. How do you not remember that? Um, to be honest, I didn't write this essay. My cousin Salem did. Oh. <gasps> Does this mean you cheated? No, but I did get some help from him. He's the best cousin in the world. <laughs> this makes us happy. All right, could you take a sip of the juice and tell us your slogan? I mean, your cousin's slogan. <laughs> um... Bingo Pop, it's... <clears throat> Disgusting, I can't drink anymore. Where's the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Turkey, you now have more than 15 million views on social media. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Salem, what you did was actually very kind. Mm, well, I realized that Turkey wanted to win more than I did. And I also realized that my essay was better than his, so... So that's how you made me make a fool of myself on a live TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Salem. You were very kind. I'm sorry. I let the fame get to my head. Huh? 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 Hello, Turkey. Even though you're no longer the face of Bingo Pop, we're contractually obligated to give you the other part of your prize. And what is it? This. A year's supply of Bingo Pop. Oh. I hope you enjoy it.
Welcome to Scotland, home of the Loch Ness Monster. Huh? Did you say monster? Oh, yes. It lives right out there in the water, you see. Uh, it is what he's saying true? I'm not sure. Nano, tell us about the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is reported to be a prehistoric sea creature living right here. Yes, that's her. There's nothing to worry about, Obeyed. It's just a legend. Now then, who would like to go fishing? Yes, me! I'd like to! <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go fishing in monster-infested water. You know what, guys? I think I'll stay here. It's probably a bit safer. Here, take these. You can look out for the monster. This too. <laughs> Blow this if you get into any trouble. It should help you out. Thank you. Okay, you three, follow me. We'll see you later, Obeyed. <laughs> Relax, Alum. There's no monster here. <laughs> I'm relaxed, really relaxed. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> huh? Uh, uh. Help! I'm stuck! Hello? Hello? Mm. Aha! Nothing. If you ask me, I think we'll be here all day without a bite. Guys, one at a time. Mansoor? We saw the Loch Ness Monster! And so did I! Huh? <laughs> I can explain. Look! 
<laughs> I hope you don't mind me tricking you boys. No cause for alarm. It's just a bit of fun for the tourists. I made it myself, actually. You really tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> sure you did, but I did sure see did. the real thing. Honest. No, Obeid. It's just make-believe. No, no. I'm not talking about the fake one over there where you guys were. I'm talking about the real Loch Ness monster that was just over that way. Look! <laughs> That's a tree, Obeid. Yeah, the real monster was by it. I swear. And what was it like? Um... <laughs> Quite friendly, actually. That's good news. So you won't mind coming back out fishing with us? Nope. I don't mind at all. With any luck, I might catch your monster, Obeyed. Yeah, you wish. You'll need a bigger rod than that. Obey. can you see it? No. Not at the moment. That's because it's not real. No, it's very real. I'll prove it to you guys. Watch. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Nano. Scan the water and tell us what's coming towards us. You got it, bad sir. <laughs> huh? It's only a log. <laughs> <laughs> That's your monster obeyed? A log? No. Huh? 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 This is my monster. Stand back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> Or maybe not. What's happening? Nano, what exactly is it? It's okay. Don't be scared. It's just Nano. Unidentified and unknown species. There is nothing in my database. Oh, thank you, Nano. You, you, you mean tell me that th that thing is the real Loch Ness Monster? Yup. And I'm the one who found him. Like fun. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now do you believe me? I told you I saw the monster. Yes, you did, Obeyed. You did. No way! Whoa! You are not gonna believe what just happened. And you're not gonna believe what happened out there! <laughs> Catch anything? Mm. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh, -ho. all right then. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us when you're ready. I'm really sorry that we doubted you, Obeyed. Oh no, it's okay. At least we believe you now. But who will believe us? 
Honestly, even I'm not sure if I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Kerinci Sablat is one of the largest national parks in Indonesia. The park was once home to the majestic Sumatran rhino, sadly now extinct. But the park still has other animals, like tapirs, clouded leopards, and also sun bears. And of course, let us not also forget the hundreds of types of bird species here, and also our closest living relative, the majestic primates. Also, out there in the jungle are some of the largest and most ferocious animals in Asia, <gasps> like the powerful Sumatran elephant and the Sumatran tiger. But some say that there is a creature in the jungle far stronger than any elephant and fiercer than any tiger. The beast is known as Orang Pendek. It means short person in Indonesian, but don't be fooled, for it is an extremely misleading name. And all we know is that no one who has seen it has lived to tell the tale. Don't worry, you two. It's just a story after all. Mm. Oh, oh! Did you see that? It was a cream striped bulbul. Quick, watch this, Mansoor. Oh, yeah? How about you try this? Okay, I'll try it out then. <laughs> Come on, guys, we should catch up with the others. So where are the others? Uh, maybe uh, the tiger got them. Or maybe even worse, the orang pendek got them. A tiger hasn't gotten them, and the orang pendek's a myth. There's no way. It's not real, you guys. <gasps> we must have taken the wrong path, so let's go back. <laughs> I'm not going back there. There's no point. There's no way forward. We have to go back. Uh, we could stay here. Why not? It looks uh, nice enough. Are you crazy? We can't just stay here, you know? We go back there, we'll be tiger food. Or even worse, or rank pendek food. Wait a minute, I think I see something. M -m 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 -sor! The orang pendek probably got him. Oh, come on. I'm sure he's just fine. Look at this! Amazing! Filled with... Gold! Lost temples always have gold! But I was gonna say snakes! Let's go! No way, guys! It's the perfect time to go exploring! And look for the gold! Oh. 
What kind of ape is this? Chimpanzee? Hmm, gorilla? Impossible, because there are no gorillas or chimps in Indonesia. Only orangutans. Whatever it is, it looks pretty real. And what's with that color? <gasps> Did you see that? What? That statue just winked at me. What do you mean, Obeyed? Hold on, that's not a statue. Uh, what is it then? <laughs> the orang pendek! Everyone run! <laughs> from his legend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll be famous for finding him. For sure, we will definitely be on TV. We present Obeyed and his best friend, Orang Pendek. <laughs> yeah, no way, it'll be more like Turkey and the Lost Temple of Orang Pendek. Hey, hang on, what about, what about, uh, Salem Saves the Day? Yeah, right. And which day did you save exactly? Hey, come on. We need to find the group, you guys. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, it seems quite high. With this view, it would definitely be in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> We get back. Let's go. Mansoor! Oh, you guys are all safe. Hey, Dad. Ah, oh, thank goodness. So, how did you find your way back? Well, it's an amazing story. You won't believe it. Huh? Uh, we followed the setting sun. No, we didn't. Salem. Yes, we did. 
Oh, 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 right. Hmm. Right. You must be starving. Come on, let's go eat. You didn't tell your father about Orang Pendek? But we were gonna be famous! If we say anything about our encounter, this jungle will be full of people looking for him. And then they will put him in a zoo and he won't be free anymore. I think it's better that we keep our secret. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay, you're right, Mensor. Yeah, he's right. there, Obey. Don't worry, I'm using my new sat-nav. Mansoor, there's a new reptile exhibition at the zoo, and they have an anaconda that's 20 feet long. I know, and I can't wait to see it. In 50 meters, turn right. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Mansoor, huh? look at the sky. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's this? Where are we? Where's the city? Mm. What does this mean? It means uh. I need a new sat-nav. Ah! Ah! The windshield needs a little cleaning. That's a good idea, Mansoor. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like the snake's not giving up and it's gaining on us. Faster, Grandpa! Hold on, boys. This is going to get bumpy. <laughs> Obey, make sure to keep your seatbelt fastened. What's going on? What? We're flying? You're never going to believe this. Look there. I'm not really enjoying this new zoo experience. It's way too interactive. You know, I don't think this is the zoo. Salem, look. Oh, no! I'm not sure I want to find out what the main course is. You think it's a snake or us? I'll hit the horn. No, wait. What if he drops us? Oh, right. Ah! 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 Looks like we're safe now. I don't like this. That egg over there is moving. There's something in there. <laughs> Just a wild guess you're obeyed, but it's probably a bird. Baby birds are hungry when they first hatch, aren't they? We have to get out of this nest! It's too heavy. We're falling. Hold on to something, boys! <laughs> what now? Huh, Grandpa? We have to put some distance between us and that giant bird. He might come back here. This place looks old. This place looks really old. Mansoor, what kind of place is this? I think the question we should be asking is, when exactly are we? Wait, what do you mean? Well, I think we just came through a time portal. We're out of gas. Maybe they have some. Hmm, let's hope the people are friendlier than the animals around here. What is that? Is that a steel chariot with no horses? Amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we're a little lost. We were looking for the zoo when we... when we... You're looking for the zoo? I've never heard of a zoo before. Grandpa, uh, I really don't think zoos have been invented in this period. Where are you from? Well, it's a very long story, but we could really use your help. Sure. Nazar al will know what to do. 
That's right, that's right. He's the cleverest man in all of Arabia. And chief scientist to the Sultan himself. Follow me. Hmm, I can't think of a better idea. All right, lead the way, please. Oh, hello, Abdul. How may I be of service? These strangers arrived a short while ago and need help. I'm in the middle of a rather delicate experiment right now. The inn can host them. Plenty of food and lodgings. If you'll excuse me. Please wait! What? I don't understand. Who are you? I am Mansoor, and we have come from the future. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Please, make yourselves at home. Well, I suppose I should have realized this might happen someday, but I guess I never expected it to actually work. What do you mean? This. It's taken me almost 10 years to construct it. It's time. We can measure it, however, we cannot ever change it. Time flows into the future, just as a river flows to the sea. Yet we can divert water, we can change its course, even pump it back uphill. I have been working on a special project. I have invented a way to manipulate time with the device you see here. Is that a time pump? That's right! This machine functions by pulling the future toward the present until they meet up. And you were working on the machine today, correct? That's right. And I fear I may have brought you here. I aimed my machine out there, out to the empty desert, trying to avoid such a thing. But in the future, the town is much bigger. It's a city, a very large city. Ah, of course. Yes, I didn't consider town expansion. Okay, so then can you just zap us back to the future? Sorry, I'm afraid not. <laughs> the machine stopped working in the middle of my experiment. I have been unable to fix it. Does that mean we're trapped here? <gasps> it's the vortex! It's still in the sky! Do you have a spyglass? It's our city! I can see it! Huh? Your machine created this vortex in the sky, an opening into the future. Looks like we'll have to go back through it. Mansoor, look, it's shrinking. There's not a second to lose. If we don't go back to the vortex now, we might be trapped here forever. The future must be an incredible place. You move around without horses, you say? That's right but it does need fuel to function. And that won't be invented for another 300 years, more or less. Fuel? But we have lots of fuel for you. Thank you so much. But we actually require a very different kind of fuel to drive. And Sor, maybe we can walk back through. What do you think? No, I don't think there's enough time. We need something faster. <laughs> It's the rock! Run for your lives! What do we do now? Remember, the rock brought us here. Maybe it could take us back. I think it's worth a try. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Ready? Ready! It's coming back! Here it comes! I wish you good luck, my little friend. Thank you! I wish we had more time to get to share ideas, Nasser. We must be satisfied with the little time we got, Mansoor. <laughs> I sure learned my lesson, didn't I? <laughs> 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 We just have to lead the rock directly to the vortex. Nano, it's up to you. Get us home. Yes, we'll do, Manzo.
<laughs> I'm going to get some fuel. Just wait here by the car. Sure thing, Grandpa. It's still only 11 o'clock. It's like we never even left. That means we still have plenty of time to go to the zoo. Uh-uh, no way. I've had enough of giant snakes for one day. Uh, how about some ice cream instead? <laughs> <laughs> My special World Cup edition football. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> hey, be careful with it. Oh, sorry. But if you're worried about your precious ball, maybe it's better if we, uh, I don't know, don't kick it around at all. Uh... Oh, no way. It can't be. Don't worry. The city has opened up a new football field in the park. Let's head over there. at all. Honey. Ah. Honey. Yes. Ah. This really can't be happening. They're here too. No football. I can't believe this is happening. There must be somewhere we can play, right? Uh -oh. Finally! <laughs> Pass it! <laughs> Obey! Change your angle! Protect your corner! Watch out for a swerve shot! Uh, which of those should I try first? <laughs> yeah! Hey! 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 Why did you let in a goal? Why did I let them score? It was your fault for barking too many orders. Okay, then let's swap places. <laughs> ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Run, Obeyed. <laughs> oh, great play, Obeyed. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's a foul. That's a penalty. Uh, sorry, I panicked. Okay. What you need to do is move uh, towards... Oh, I've got this, okay? I do not need your advice. I can do this! No! My ball! Oh, no! Uh, I'm sorry! <laughs> that was a nice one, Obeyed. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see how bad this garden looks? But where's my ball? I don't know, but it could take us hours to find it. Well then, start looking. Come on, start looking now. I can't look around their garden without permission. What if the owners find me while searching their yard? There aren't any owners. This house is clearly abandoned. Salem and I will go and make sure that no one's inside now. Good idea, thank you. Hey. Climb up higher and see if you can see the ball. Uh, I still can't see. I can't see. What? Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Thankfully, this grass broke my ball. Well, since you're there, can you find my ball? Okay. I found something. What? This? Really? Just keep looking for my ball. I'm sure there's no one living here, 
but it's best that we check. Look! Hmm. Huh. You'll make a tasty snack for me tonight. Uh, uh, what was that all about? I don't know, but we need to tell Obeid and Turkey to get off that wall. Turkey! Where's Obeid? Looking for my ball. We must get him out. The house isn't abandoned. Really? We just saw someone go inside. Yeah, someone creepy. Obeyed. Obeyed. Hey, no luck on finding your ball just yet, but I did find this thing. Shh, don't worry. No, he's gone again. What are we going to do? Salem and I will go and ring the doorbell. Uh, we will? Yeah, we have to. It will distract whoever's inside the house. What am I going to do then? Get Obeyed out of the garden, of course. Okay, we'll just ring the doorbell and we'll calmly explain we accidentally kicked the ball into the garden. Ready? Not really. Wait, look! <gasps> we need to go. This house is zoomed to oasis. Who is this? Let's get out of here. Obeyed! Oh! I think I found your ball! Oh! Huh? Oh! Where's Obeyed? He's still in the garden. I can't seem to get his attention. We've got to get out of here! Why? This is a dangerous place! It's Umduwaze's house! Huh? But who's that? <sighs> She's an evil woman who tempts people with nice cooking smells. She traps them and eats them. Just look! <laughs> Huh? What? I can't hear from down here. Shh! Just come... Come back here! I can't just yet. I'm looking for Turkey's ball. Don't worry about my ball. First you wanted me to find your soccer ball. And now you want me to forget about it? I wish you'd make up your mind. Just come here! Okay, okay, I'm coming already. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> That smells so good. It's delicious. <laughs> Obey, no! <laughs> huh? hmm. It smells great. I'm um, ways to go bait inside. Uh, what are we gonna do? We rescue him. <laughs> oh no, that doesn't sound good. Hold on! I've got an idea! Uh. Huh? Obey! Are you okay? Oh. Yeah! Why wouldn't I be okay? We heard a loud crash! Oh! I dropped a glass! <laughs> and what are y'all wearing? Uh, it's for protection! Protection from what? Uh, huh? Protection from that! I'm going to eat you! I'm going to eat you! I'm going to eat you all while I drink my delicious coffee! Oh, hello. Welcome. Would you like some dates? I just picked them fresh from my garden. Oh, thank you. I've <laughs> been living abroad for a couple of years. And your friend here kindly offered to help me tidy up my very messy garden. Yes, and in return, <laughs> I'm going to get some delicious biryani. These are my closest friends, Mansoor, Turkey, and Salim. And this lady is my new friend, Mrs. Om Darwish. Huh? Yes. But the sign in front of the house says Um Dewey's. No, it says Um Darwish, but it's so covered in dust it probably does look a little bit like Um Dewey's. Well, how about we help by fixing the mess out in the garden? And then we'll sit and enjoy the delicious biryani. Mmm, mmm. Well done, well done, 
boys. It truly looks marvelous. Now please come inside and enjoy some food. Here you go, boys. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs> I bet you're glad I kicked your football over the fence now, aren't you, Turkey? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Dad! Look! Hello, Menser. What's this? I invented something for Nano to make him be able to throw the tennis ball. I'll attach this device here onto Nano, and then Nano can throw the balls, and then I will Manser, be able to... Menser, your father has to go to the airport. He'll be late if you keep talking to him. How are you feeling, Nano? Excited. Oh, look, Dad! I attached a device to Nano! It fits! Um... Very good, Manser! I'll try it in the garden right now. You should come and see it with me! Manser, what did I tell you? That if I talk to Dad, I'll be late for work? Then let him go! You can show him Nano when he's back. The plane won't fly itself to Australia. Actually, when I activate autopilot, the plane will... Oh, uh, um, no, I mean, yes, it obviously won't fly by itself. Uh, did you do it? Hi, guys. Just about to test it, actually. Are you ready? Ready! Great! And go! Ha! Oh, ha! <laughs> this is awesome! You almost killed us! <laughs> huh? Dad, Dad, Dad! Come and look at this! Come! Watch! Wait! Hmm. <laughs> okay, now we're safe. And go! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Very good work, son. Menser, what did I tell you? Khalid, you'll be late. You must leave now. Oh. Oh. Bye, everyone. I'll see you all in three days. Sorry, Mom. Uh, okay, come inside now. I'll get you all a drink. Uh. <gasps> oh, no! Your dad's briefcase! Looks like you're in trouble, Mancer. If you didn't distract your dad by talking to him, he wouldn't have forgotten it. Don't worry, Mom. Let me fix this. He can't have gone too far. I'll call him and tell him to come back and take it. Huh? Oh, oh my god. We're definitely gonna be in trouble. Everything he needs is inside the briefcase. His passport, his wallet, and his phone too. What are we gonna do now? Hmm. Uh? We have to drop it off. Hmm. Come on. Look, Mom! 
There's Dad right over there! Get closer to his car! Mom, get closer! Speaking, this is airport security. Uh, the kids are playing with a trolley. I repeat, they are playing with a trolley. I will stop them now. Here we go. to my dad right now. Run, run! Sorry, we can't explain right now. This is an emergency. The security guard is still following us, you guys. That's the ramp. Confirm your story. Huh? Airport security, I arrested the three kids. Two of them are skinny, and the third one is fat. Uh, nah. And we were so close, too. I have an idea. <laughs> Neno, throw this ball. Where do I throw it? My dad's way. But he might get hurt. Don't worry, Nano. Come on, throw it. Hello, everybody. Oh, I forgot my briefcase. Oh. What was that? Hey! Dad! Dad! Look! Hello! Hey, hey, stop! No, 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 no,
Dad, Dad, Dad! You forgot your briefcase! Oh, thank you, guys. <laughs> what is going uh, on here? Nothing's going on here. I got distracted at home before leaving, and I forgot my briefcase. But my son got together with his friends and made sure it arrived here on time. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I owe these boys. Without them, I would have been in real trouble. Mm, uh, of course, of course. Uh, yes, of course. It's my pleasure to help. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I got to say, great hint, man, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Cadabra. What's wrong, Ubaid? Magic is a bit scary, but it's not real silly. No. <sighs> no. How about I make him wear it? <laughs> For my final illusion, I introduce Boy Becomes Rabbit. I need three oh. volunteers. Oh. You, you, yeah. and you. Come on, Obaid. Oh, you stay with me. Can you two please check that box carefully? Make sure it is empty and has no hidden compartment. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Now please return to your seats and watch closely. Will you please get into the box and sit down? Abra Kadabra! Huh? Oh, well done. <laughs> you were great. Yes. You disappeared superbly. All I did was fall down, but really? I didn't expect to see you here, Grandpa. Well, I like to help out at the school when I can, and besides, Ja'afar is an old friend after all. I've got to get back up there. <laughs> Are you okay with handling the trap door? Absolutely. <laughs> huh? And now, I will make the box and the rabbit disappear. All right, stand back, Menser. Don't let him get away. Look out. Where did Mancher go? I'm sure he's waiting for us, maybe at the entrance. I got you. Huh? Everything all right, my friend? <laughs> yes, why? Ah. Uh. ah, Flopsy. I'm sure you were messing around with them. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, we have to clean the place up before we leave. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Mansur and I will take care of this mess. You can go. Thank you both for your help. It's been a great pleasure. We couldn't have done the show without you. See you again, old friend. Ah. 
Did anyone see Manser? Huh? Ah. Hi, Shama. Hi, boys. Where's Mansoor? We don't know. He disappeared after the magician turned him into a rabbit. Hmm. Maybe the magician forgot to turn him back into a boy. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to go now. I'll see you later. <gasps> Solemn, I figured it out. I think Mansoor was turned into a rabbit. I don't think so, Bade. The magician didn't actually turn Mansoor. Look! Uh -huh. hey. Well, I thought. Ah, ah, the show was spectacular. Remember when I played the role of the evil magician and you were my creepy assistant? <laughs> now do you believe me, Solemn? Look, the magician and his partner are proud of what they did to Mansoor. Look, there he is. What? Where? There. In the little cage. Don't be ridiculous. He's being kidnapped. <sighs> huh? <laughs> 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 Obeyed! Run! Hey, come back. Give me back the rabbit. Someone catch him. Huh? huh? Your friends, they ran off with my rabbit. What do I do? What? No way! Obeyed and Salem wouldn't take something that's not theirs. But I saw them. Please help me now. I need my rabbit back. Please help me. Flopsy is like family to me. I will. I'll help you. Go and get that rabbit. <laughs> What's going on, Obaid? You don't actually think this is Mansur, do you? Yes! I'm sure it's Mansur. Look at his face! Uh... <laughs> Seems like their phones are off. But we can get some help from Nano. Hello, Mansur. Hello, Nano. Can you fly over to Obaid's house and Salem's house and see if they're there? Of course. Nano is my personal assistant, and he's a robot who can fly. I invented him. That's really incredible. You have a flying robot? People think my magic tricks are clever, but with your intelligence, you managed to invent a flying robot. Obeyed? Let's take the rabbit back to the school. No, I'm going to try and turn him back into a boy. What? Hmm. Ha! Ah. Mansoor! 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 He isn't turning back! You don't say. We have to go back to the magician so we can turn him back to normal! Mansoor! Salem is not home yet! Thanks, Nano. Can you try Obey's house next? Of course! Hi, Shama! Have you seen Obey and Salem? They took the magician's rabbit and ran off. What? Oh, I remember now. When I saw them leaving school, they told me about the magic trick. Although I was just joking, I told them that the magician turned you into a rabbit. I think Obeyed actually might have believed me. No, surely they didn't believe I turned you into a rabbit. Obeyed definitely would. Mansoor. I didn't find them in Obey's house either. Thank you, Nano. You should just go home now. Hey, you! Hello. Is that Flopsy? His name is Mansoor. Now fix this. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I need you to take me to Jafar so we can turn this rabbit back into my good friend Mansoor. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Jafar? It seems the game is up. I'm with two boys who have Flopsy, I mean, uh, Mansoor, Mansoor. Uh, and they demand you turn him back into a boy now. Yes, yes, see you soon. Okay, the great Jafar has agreed. Come on, let's go to your friend's house. <laughs> I beg you, 
Please turn Mansoor back into a boy. He's not fun like this. Please, Mr. Jafar, can you help? Abra, Kadabra! Mansoor, you're back! Hi, Obeyed. Tell me, what was it like being a rabbit? Um, it was fun for a little bit, but I prefer being a boy. Are you, are you happy being back in your normal body? All right, then, keep your eye on this. No, enough! Turn it back before he melts! Abracadabra! It's okay, Obey, don't worry. It's fun turning into lots of different things. You should try it sometime. Oh. Here. I'm very sorry for all the trouble I've caused. No, of course not. Huh. It was not troublesome at all. Yep, this one will be one of our favorite stories. Obeyed! Look, it's Mansoor! <laughs> You're not funny! <laughs> come! Come, Mansoor! Come here, little kitty! 